what do you mean by share pay ratio should you consider share pay ratio before choosing funds to discover more on share pay ratio and its significance we have our industry expert mr hariyaran with us hariyan could you please elaborate more on this let me create a quick cricket example here before we come to this now in a cricket match uh, you see that there are 11 players who play the match right now when you create the composition of the team of 11 players the captain and the coach take some calculated risk now what is the calculated risk depending on which pitch they are playing where they are playing they either include one extra batsman or they include an extra bowler isn't it so if it is played on a flat pitch like india one day match where 400 runs can be scored they would want to go with a higher batsman so that even if the team plays and scores 400 they can chase it on the other hand when it's a low scoring match which is slightly difficult pitch again they may want to add an additional bowler or additional batsman now that depends essentially what i'm trying to say is coach and the captain take a calculated bet of either increasing the batsman or increasing the bowler now when will we know that this decision of they playing an extra batsman or an extra bowler is justified it's only after the match is over isn't it so if i have played an extra batsman and that batsman were to score good runs and win the match for the team i would say that boss i have done a great job i selected him on the other hand if i have played an extra batsman and with that batsman gets out in the first ball my decision is gone right similarly bowler i have taken an extra bowler that bowler balls very well picks up three wickets does not give too many runs i will say that my selection was wonderful on the other hand i have taken an extra bowler and he is taken for runs he is given 80 runs 90 runs in 10 overs not taken any wickets also my decision of selecting extra bowler has backfired so if you go back to where i started this topic of that cricket example of indian team winning so many matches you look at a particular number and you say that wonderful job but to get that wonderful job you have taken a risk am i getting rewarded for that risk and that is what shall pressure tells us shall pressure tells us that if i have 1 lakh rupee to invest i can go to a state bank of india bank branch do a fixed deposit with sbi for 3 years or 5 years and let's hypothetically assume sbi gives me 7% returns is the 7% return guaranteed yes is it safe yes on the other hand i meet you on the road and i say why are you doing that fd you give it to me in mutual funds i will invest this 1 lakh in a mutual fund and you agree to do that so when you agree to do that you are now taken a risk of giving that 1 lakh to a mutual fund and the fund manager is going to deploy this money in stock market he is going to take that risk when is your decision of investing in the mutual fund justified if you get returns better than fixed deposit isn't it if i also deliver that same 7% what fd has delivered you have taken the risk but you have not got rewarded and that is where shall pressure comes into picture for the risk that you take as an investor and as a fund manager takes the risk in his portfolio is he delivering you the reward and there's a formula that i've given here is the return of the fund minus the risk free return divided by the risk that he has taken which is measured by standard deviation so again don't get into the data perspective just analyze the data same category you'll have to compare the funds select the fund which has a higher shall ratio i don't mind taking a higher risk as long as i am getting rewarded for that risk important okay so analyze within the same mutual fund category if it's mid cap compare only mid cap funds select the fund which has delivered a higher shall ratio right there's another variation of shall ratio which is called as a sortino ratio so sortino is very similar in terms of the formula the only difference is in the shall ratio the denominator is standard deviation and standard deviation can be positive negative we have learned that sortino takes only downside standard deviation so wherever the fluctuations is on the negative side only those data is taken and that formula is applied so therefore what sortino tells us is that how is the fund capable of protecting the losses because only taking the downside values so is the fund capable of protecting the losses okay and therefore again higher the sortino ratio better it is which means that in the case of downward market this fund is better off in protecting the investment okay so again sharp or sortino choose the higher one sortino is not readily available okay sharp ratio is reasonably easily available so generally people tend to go with sharp but sortino according to me is a slightly better indicator of Uh, the reward especially in a downward cycle downward market risk free rate is not fd typically as per the uh, sebi guidelines it is typically 
a one year treasury bill which is a security issued by the government of india is what is generally considered as a risk free rate uh, for calculating the sharp ratio thanks for your detailed answer if you have any doubt regarding this or any other financial or investment decision don't hesitate to book an appointment with our financial expert the link to the appointment is given in the description below and also would you like to know more about finance and investment then we would recommend you to attend our live webinar the link to the webinar is also given in the description below the webinar is absolutely free if you like this video hit like and if you are new to our channel please do subscribe